Hey everybody, welcome to another Intro to HTML video. In this video, we're going to add navigation to the website that we've been building. So we've been building this page right here. In a previous video, we added some color to the text and to the backgrounds and things like that. Uh, we talked a little bit about color schemes and limiting the color schemes. Granted, I don't have the best color scheme here. I'm going to change this into uh, a specific website at a later point, but right now we're just hammering out the, the layout of the web page. What we're going to do with this now is we're going to add navigation, horizontal navigation right below the, the header, and we're going to give it some rollover effects. So let's get into that. We've looked at horizontal navigation in the past, and in way back in earlier videos, we made a nav, and we put it right below the header. So I'm putting my nav right below the header. Now, if you look at this web page, look at it in the browser, we've got our h, our header with an h1, we've got our two columns, and then we've got our footer that's all wrapped up in a wrapper that correlates to the HTML in that there's a body that opens and closes all the way down at the bottom. First thing that happens in the body is the wrapper opens. The last thing that happens is the wrapper closes. We have our header with an H1. I'm going to insert my nav right below it. And then we've got our columns, main content, with an article, an H2, some paragraphs, and sidebar with an article, an H2, and some paragraphs. Footer down below that. You should have this code, you should have this markup on your computer. We've been building it over the course of several videos. If you don't have it, you might want to go back and remake this uh, code um, because you need it to continue on. So uh, nav, it's going to contain a UL on ordered list and it's going to contain some LIs. I'm going to put four LIs in here and each of those LIs is going to have a link in it. Does I'm not making it linked to anywhere so I'm just putting in those number symbols just for the heck of it as placeholders and then for the content page uh, I'm gonna go yeah I'm on page two so page one so I'll link to page two copy this paste it three more times change the content so it's different on each of them we're assuming that we're making a five page website here so I've got my navigation with a UL four allies each of those allies containing an A now, if we look at this in the browser, save it, refresh it, there we go, we've got our navigation. It's a vertical stack. Um, the, uh, the, it's just in a standard list. So what we want to do now is make it horizontal. In a previous video, we talked about the display property. We're going to use the display property to make these allies horizontal. Okay, now, there are a couple ways we could do this. I could do something like this and go um, class nav item we've talked about classes in previous videos. A class is a very similar thing to an ID but classes are meant to be used over and over and over where IDs can only be used once. So I've made each of these class nav item. I'm going to go up to my style sheet, down here, nav dash item. Let's try this, display inline block. I could also just do inline, but I'm going to do inline block. Now they're sitting side by side by side, which is kind of nice. It looks good, but I think they're really crunched up. They're too close together, so I'm going to give them a little bit of white space. So nav item. 
I'm going to give it a, a little bit of margin. Um, margin on the left side. Margin dash left. And I'm going to start with 2% and see how that looks. That looks pretty good, and I'm, I'm just going to leave it at 2% for now. Excellent. So um, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a background color. And um, I don't have a, a color specifically that I want to use, so I'm just going to go yellow right now. It's not sticking to my color scheme, I know, but we're doing this quick and dirty. There we go, they're yellow. All right, that looks fine. Now, I'm going to try some things. Um, I'm going to select all links that exist within LIs that have not nav item applied to it. So I'm going to go li.nav item space a. This will select all links inside nav item inside LIs. Okay? But I don't want to just select the link. Links have four different qualities. They have four different states. They've got the link state, the visited state, the hover state, and the active state. The link state is a default state. We see links that, that have not been clicked on, uh, on on web pages. By default, the browsers set them to blue. We're familiar with this. Visited links, you may recall, they default to purple. There's no default state for hover and active um, in any of the browsers, but we can set that. So let's start by doing this. A colon link. A colon link. This colon is called a pseudo class selector. And what it's doing is it's selecting the link state of an A tag. I'm going to set this to color red. Save it. Refresh it. There we go. Now you can see my links are red. And then if I click on it, they go back to purple because purple is the default state. So let's change the visited state. I'm going to copy this whole thing. li.navitem. So this is all list items, or all list items that are nav items. A colon visited. I'm going to select the visited state. And I'm going to change that to color green. Save it, and you should see that they'll change to green now. Now it's hard to tell, but they're green. They've been visited. Now, let's go to same thing, a colon hover. Hover is the state where you are hovering the cursor over the item. I'm going to change it to um, something that's going to be really obvious. Let's go with uh, white so you can really see it. See they change to white when I hover over them. And then let's go with active is the last state. And active is the state when you are actively clicking on it. And I'm going to go with orange. Save it. Refresh it. You can see when I click on it, it turns orange. Now, we can do all kinds of things with this. When we hover over it, we can also change background colors. Let's say I wanted to change the background color to sky blue. Okay. You can even do 
things like change the the amount of padding and you can, any kind of change you can think of using CSS you can make happen in one of those four states you could make the text bigger or smaller you can make the margin padding bigger and smaller I would really recommend that you don't do that kind of stuff because it really throws off the the, the layout of your page when you make things bigger or smaller it might even break the layout of your page I wouldn't recommend making the text bigger and smaller on rollover but changing the colors perfectly fine okay um, so that's a little bit about making rollover navigation you can do all kinds of stuff with this you can make it so that when you roll over your navigation it's going to drop down a sub sub menu um, you could do it where when you roll over and then click it drops down a sub menu there are all kinds of things that you could do with this using pure CSS we're not going to get into them in this video um, but if you do a little bit of Google searching for um, uh, rollover navigation you'll find all kinds of tutorials and stuff that will point you in the right direction but this is the basics making a horizontal navigation that has rollover effects thanks for watching